I do. Ooh. Wait till you see the umbrella, I'm going to buy a red one today. <laughs> All right, Lorna, you go get set up. Uh, we are at the end of this hour. We're going to come right into our next hour. Again, up to you. Thanks, Caitlin. All right, so hey what? Got mail. Oh, let's check the mailbox. Come on over. So we asked a question, and our question was, um, what was our question? Oh, what's, the, what's your biggest pet peeve about your yard or garden, right? I'm not a big fan of raking. I, I'll be honest with you. I hate leaves on my, on my yard. That's probably mine. Although I have the broom, but I still don't like doing it, but it does make it easier. Let's find out what our fans said out there. Hi, Sandra. Sandra says, my garden craziness is the bunnies and squirrels eating my flowers. All right, you're right. Squirrels, forget what I said about the rake. I have squirrels. Somebody's feeding them peanuts and they're planting them in my, in my pots. Digging up all my stuff drives me nuts. Dawn, uh, she says, my pet peeve is everything. Been doing construction for four years now. So Dawn's having a lot of work done. Beverly, hi Beverly. My outdoor backyard pet peeve is when people litter and it blows in my yard, I hear you on that. My girl Laura, say hi to Ed. Her pet peeve, gnats, skeeters, wasps, and ants. Laura, you gotta get that no more bugs. I, I'm telling you, it works. I can still smell it on my hands, so beautiful. Anita says, I guess my pet peeve would be tree roots. Yeah, they're tough, Anita, I know. Uh, but she can handle it because Anita's tough. And Joan says, it's ivy. Oh, yeah, see, you could cut the ivy, Joan, with that, with the uh, knife on the, uh, on the rake broom. Anyway, we'll give you our answer as to who we're picking. Uh, I think we the $25 a little bit later. My pick in the show is right behind me. This is our Sunjo pressure washer. I own this pressure washer. Okay, I don't own the exact one. Mine's 2,000 PSI. This one is 100 more PSI. I have not aired a, a pressure washer that's more powerful than this one. It's a 13 amp. We put it on sale. It's $40 off today. Get an HSN credit card. This will cost you $79.95 for our most powerful one that we air. It comes with the foam cannon. Wash the car. It's coming up. And Kyle, I don't have a lot of these, do I? He just said no. <laughs> Kyle, huh? Oh, okay. Oh, all right. I thought this, I, oh, it's probably the 2000 that I don't have a lot of. This one I'm okay, I'm okay on. So, all right. Okay, here we go. I'm just trying to figure out, I know this, here's, here's the deal. I know that we're getting uh, on in, in our uh, gardening shows. I think our finale is next week. So I know we're running low on a lot of product and this is one I know we're gonna sell out of. It's from Sunjo. You're getting the 18 inch 24 volt hedge trimmer and you're getting the 100 mile an hour uh, blower. Sleek, lightweight, both tools, both of them for $99.95. All right? Both of them. Lowest price I have ever done. Two tools for dad for Father's Day. Okay, it might be a little late, but who cares? A medium sized trimmer. It's not the big, big, long one, which is hard to use. You get the interchangeable batteries. They both come with it. 24 volt, on sale, $40 off. Are you ready for this because it's Sunjo, which is why I have so many Sunjo products at my house, including that pressure washer? Three year warranty. Who does that? Three year warranty. All right, so you're gonna be able to clean your shrubs, clean your hedges, and then blow all that debris off all in one fell swoop. Yes, it is a customer pick, okay? We, it took us forever to get it back, but it is last call. Kyle, how many? Kyle said I have about 800 left. 800 left at $99.95, get a HSN credit card, get it home for $49.95 $49 for two if you get a new credit card today. All right, I'm gonna hand it over to my buddy, Bobby Milliken, standing by. Bobby's Skyping in. Uh, by the way, we're indoors today. It's so bloody hot out and there's thunderstorms everywhere. So I apologize that we're not out in the sunshine, but I'm happy to not be sweating. I'll leave that up to Bobby. Hey, buddy. <laughs> I'll take care of all the sweating from here, guy. You, you stay nice and cool and dry. And so <laughs> I'm just messing with you. But yeah, we are super excited to have this for this price. This is amazing. You and I talk about the blower all the time. You know, this is my number one favorite all-time tool in our Sunjo lineup. First of all, look how light this guy is. It was a three, three and a half pound. The reason it's so light is because of its ergonomical design and it's battery operated. So look, I'm not tethered to anything no extension cords, no fumes, no gas, no fuss, no muss. I'm gonna get right into the demo. Come up here, Nico, I'm gonna show you. You don't see any leaves yet, right? Watch this. Just that quickly, in two seconds, I blew all those leaves 
maybe it's your driveway and you've got some dirt or de de debris or soil or mulch and you're just trying to kick it back. All you do is turn the button on. You can hear the power. Look at it in action. It easily gets that mulch dirt right back into my garden where I built it from in the first place. Guy, coming closer, Nico, I want to show you this. This is a turbine engine here. This is going to propel 100 mile an hour. And again, at this light weight, only three and a half pounds, I can hold it with my pinky. Matter of fact, when I turn it on, you can see it kind of kick back. All of this is made possible by this. It's our 24 volt lithium ion battery. This baby charges up quickly, going to give you at least about 15 minutes of continuous run time. And this works in over 100 of our other Snow Joe and Sun Joe tools. So that's half the battle, right? So we're, that's half of what you get. The other half is this. You get a hedge trimmer. Again, lightweight, about three and a half pounds. Guy, can I go do the hedges? Yeah, go, go. All right, so same thing. To turn it on, you've got a safety switch here. So you engage that, push that, and that's how the blades are gonna go. You've got 18 inches. It reciprocates both ways, forward and backwards. So when you turn it on, it's gonna give you that nice cutting action. Follow me back here. I've got a little bit of hedges left from, uh, from the season, but it's got a nice helper handle right here. You can just kind of get in there, get them nice and flat. And this is gonna do up to over half an inch in the box going back. I'm just kind of straightening them up, tidying them up. Look, I got some long ones back there. You got me, Nico? There we go, getting those nice and good. I can shape them up if I want to from the side like that. There we go. Boom. Guy, with these skills, I think maybe uh, I could be hired at Disney soon and do the topiaries. Yeah, yeah, get out there, man. Start, cut, cut yourself up, a, you know, decorate yourself a mouse or two out there. So, by the way, I put the gloves back on because I'm using power tools. We have a three-pack of these gloves available, $20. You'll have them for years. I own them. I love them. Best garden gloves ever. We'll put the item number up for that. But here's what I want to tell everybody right now. When you can get two tools for one price like this, and these are not like little clippers, these are full-size garden tools, okay? Full-size, there's the gloves right there. Three pair, last you for years, get the gloves. But when you can get two garden tools like this in one fell swoop, you are smart. I'm telling you, easy to handle. The balance of Sun Joe, this is two fingers. Look at how perfectly balanced it is, right? Hold it in your hands, you just go left to right. They put the bulk of the weight is at the back, so it, it's supported by your hand. And then all you just do is go left and right, left and right. 100 miles an hour. That's the, guys, that's the power of a hurricane in your hand, okay? And remember, you wanna use the trimmer, pop the battery off, you pop it into the trimmer, and you're good to go there. And what I really love about this trimmer, Bobby, and you know this as well because I've told you this story probably 100 times, regular hedge trimmers that you buy at the store, all right? And you'll spend 99 bucks on one, good price, right? 79 to 99. I mean, you can spend 299 if you really want to, if you want to go get a big, giant one gas-powered thing. But here's the deal. The battery power on this makes it so you're never going to cut a cord. When I bought my first hedge trimmer at my very first house in Florida, I cut two power cords in two weeks. I should have bought one that was orange. I bought them in green. They melted in with the rest of the hedges, and I cut it, and all of a sudden, it went, the power went out, and I was like, I went right through the cord. That's dangerous. I don't have to tell you why, because I think you already know that. But this, you'll never have to worry about that because there is no cord to get in your way. You can go up and down, left and right. It's lightweight, it's not heavy. Remember, the weight is mostly in your hands. There's a helper handle here. And I always say to people, when you're using a hedge trimmer, either put one hand behind your back or always hold the handle, all right? You don't want any fingers around because these things are, are not a toy, okay? So get your hand up and then watch, you'll see. That's how it works. And just go very easy, up, down, across the top. That's all you need to do. When you have any debris left over, pop the battery off, pop it in, take your blower. I use my, my leaf blower every day because I get stuff on my deck every day. Maybe you have a swimming pool and you get stuff around the pool. So now I can utilize it for that, cleaning up all the areas I need to, all right? Very, very simple. Little flick of the switch, automatically turns off. If you didn't get anything for dad for Father's Day, how about getting him two amazing gifts? So I said I had, what, 850? Kyle, how many are left? 610, 240 already gone. 
$24.99. How about we drop the price? If you get a brand new HSN credit card today, that $99 price will turn to $49.95 because we'll put $50 in your account. I'm hoping that the 130, 140 new customers I got in the last hour got a brand new card because we never go higher than $50. That's the most money that we give when we want to uh, promote our card. And you just get the money. There's no, there's no tricks. There's no like, oh, wait, do I have to do this? Just use it all because we only use 30. We don't give you 20 change. We don't make change on that. So use the whole thing. That's why this is so perfect. Very busy. You want to order it fast? Take your uh, phone out, turn on the camera, and take and just hold it in front of that little squiggly box it's called a QR code, quick response. Fastest way to be able to shop. All right, I want to see some more demos. Let's go back to Bobby. Yeah, guy, the greatest thing about this is it's lightweight, and like you said, it's battery powered. So compared to this, which is two to three times heavier, this is a gas blower. You have to have oil, you have to have gas, you have to pull start. If you're if you're a commercial or you know that's your job, okay, we understand. But for if you're like Guy and I, for your everyday homeowners, you just want something light, strong, and easy. This is what you do. We're all cutting our grass. It's hot outside. The grass is growing. You want to blow those clippings right back into the grass off the driveway. You can easily do that. Or if you've got a bunch of leaves, it's uh, you know they're falling off the tree. You want to push those down here. Look at the power. It's just the right amount of power to push them where I want to, just all the way down off the driveway that easily. And if you, Nico, can you film down here? There's a little bit of sand here. I've got kids, we go to the beach. This is great to get that sand off too. You can just get nice and low and blow that hard to get sand right off of your driveway or your concrete. And again, that's only half the battle because you get this tool. Assembly is really easy. You pop on this tube and that tube pop on the battery by the way that's how you know how much charge you just hit the button looks like i got two out of three of the green led that's your charge pop it on the charger we give you that and we give you the other tool now you just swap the batteries from one tool to the other so now you're back in business with the head trimmer you got the helper handle the safety the weights back here like i said 18 inches on the blade and then nico if you can follow me i know we're probably limited on time but i did the back i could do the front here the guy said you're both hands on it, so I'm gonna follow Guy's advice. And you can just kind of touch those up, kind of do my uh, my artistic design. This is like my pencil in my garden. Beautiful. And I'm just drawing the perfect bushes right there. Look at that, I even got Spice's product right there showcasing that. I got it all here. All the HSN Dude. products I enjoy having here, but my favorite, of course, is the Sunjo two-in-one tools. Dude, you look, you're like Bobby Scissorhands right there. That's who you look like right there. Do I see him doing all those little decorative? Hey, here's the thing too. If you've never used one of these before, I know it's a little daunting, right? It's a power tool, but at least it doesn't have a cord. You don't have to start it like a lawnmower. You don't have to do any of that. You just squeeze the trigger. All you do, it's like scissors, okay? Only it's electric. And these are, these are very, very sharp and they're heavy duty. The gauge on them is heavy as you can see from the side. So they're gonna go through all that debris. One hand on the handle, one hand on the back, and just go ahead and do it. You'll be surprised how quickly you catch on and how empowered you feel when you have this. Power tools are exactly that. They feel like they give you the power to be able to do whatever you want. You just have to be a little careful. I wouldn't give this to a kid, obviously, all right? I always disconnect the battery whenever I'm not using my power tools. I don't want anybody to just get in there and play with it. So if you do have children or grandkids, just take that battery off. That's how easy it is, okay? I don't know if Bobby showed you the little gas gauge. He, he, sometimes he does, but I'll show it to you here. So there it is. Hit the button. Fully charged. And I've been, you know, I've been playing with this thing and it, it, it hasn't lost any power whatsoever. You take the battery, goes in the back, give it a little click, back in business. Same with the blower. All right, simple battery on the back, 100 miles an hour, hurricane wind, okay? If you want this combo, with everybody online, my producer, Kyle, tells me we got about 500 left. So remember, we started with, what, 850? And we're down to 540. So if you wanna get two of these, remember, this isn't for one tool, you're gonna get both. It makes a great belated uh, Father's Day gift. And hey, listen, if you just get it because you need a blower, trust me, one day you'll use that hedge trimmer. Or you yeah. can give it as a gift. I mean, Bobby, right? I mean, if you only need one, Get the two yeah. and give your neighbor something. Maybe you already got a blower. Give the neighbor one or donate yeah, one. This, donate one to a church, whatever you got to do. 
Yeah, yeah, exactly. You're right. This is a no brainer. It's a great gift uh, for yourself or for your neighbor. But if you just need the blower, you're going to use this. If you just need the trimmer, you're going to use the blower. 350 watts of power here, 250 watts of power here. We give you the sheath for this. This is rust resistant, 18 inches. This is the perfect combo. And of course, go with Joe. We've been in the business over 15 years. Stand behind our product, guy. All right, Bobby, you yeah. better come back. Go get ready. Our pressure washer. This one's a this one's a hundred more psi than the one that I own. It's the most powerful one that I've aired. That's coming up with Bobby. So Bobby, go get settled, and uh, we'll check in with you in just a bit. Hey Kyle, I want to say hi to my Facebook friends if I if you don't mind, real quick, because they're so wonderful. There's Anita. I love Anita and Judy. Angie's with us. Donna, Kathy. Hi Kathy, you're so sweet. Sharon, Deanne, Rochelle. Oh my gosh, I'll make sure I said Judy Dawn. There's my Martina. Good morning, Martina. City Gal is with me today. I'm going through, there's, I think I got all you guys. There's a whole bunch of you. There's some down the bottom here. I think I got everybody that's here. Hold on, I'm going way down. Yeah, that's about as much as I can do. But anyway, I love you guys. Don't forget, we're doing our $25 gift card at the end of the show. So make sure you, you hang in there. All right, Kyle, what's next? Gloves, Sanjo gloves. So here's what I'll tell you. Lou, did you ever buy these gloves? These are the greatest gloves. These are the greatest gloves ever. Three pair, and I have a hard time fitting into gloves, you know, because I've got larger hands. Three pair, and they're machine washable, and they're stretchy, one size fits all. You'll have these for years, and they're $19 for three pair. You can wash them. Look at the, the tactile thing you can do with these because they've got that nitrile on one side. Digging in the garden, you won't have to clean your nails. Ladies, keep your hands looking good, right? Washing the car, washing the dog, washing your, I don't, whatever you want to wa wash, you can, $19.99. Guess what's coming up? The cantilever umbrella. You guys seen this thing? I want one in red. I have a, I have a, a deck, but man, it was so bloody hot out there yesterday with the dog. I'm like, if I just had a covered space, it would be so nice. We're doing it. With the base, you get the base with this one, Kyle, right? Yes. And you fill it with sand or stones, you get your choice. And remember, this is the one you can put stuff under. It's not that stupid one that you gotta put in the middle of a picnic table, right? It's only got one good use. Take this wherever, move it around, cantilever design. Wait till you see it open and close. $119.95, free shipping. Kyle, that says free shipping. Kyle, no, don't change it, keep it. I just didn't know it was free shipping. All right, Luke Caputo, come on out. Oh, all right. Since I've been doing so much talking and I'm cutting into <laughs> your cell tone. So let me just tell you, out of all the solar lights that we have, these are some of my favorites. Yeah, because these I are pretty love, awesome. First of all, that is my favorite. Flame effect. Flame effect. I've got this all over my yard. Mm -hmm. And what's wonderful about these is you can do a lot with them. You can put oh, them on the, on the post that we give you. Yes, you can. Or you can install them around your deck. Yeah, I mean, and that's, and by the way, you're not getting a choice of a flame effect light or a white light. Every single light will do both, okay? Awesome. And you have the choice. So you can make them all flame, every other one flame, whatever you want to do. These are beautiful, they're bright, they're from Bell & Howell, so you know that these are great lights. You know they've got a rich, rich history in developing lighting. And you see this one mounted to a fence post right here. We actually give you two different size bases, and I'll show you that in just a second. But the other thing that we give you, color appropriate for each one, is you get a stake as well. So you have an option here, guy. You can stake these into the ground, or or you can mount them on top of a fence post, uh, you know, whichever one you want to do. I'm, I'm going to buy some today. Okay. I have, I bought ones, and I, and I didn't buy them, I'm being totally transparent, I didn't buy them here. About two years ago, Yeah. I bought ones that have a, have a tall post. Yeah. So literally, they're like five feet high, and they're very similar to that. They're already ready to be replaced. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just, they just didn't last out there. What I want to do, and the ones that I had on my deck, yeah. two of those died out of the four that I had. I'm gonna get two sets of these and I'm gonna put them on the posts on my deck. Oh yeah, yeah, no, that's and a great idea. And I'm gonna put them idea. on that flicker flame. Yeah, that's a fantastic I idea. I call it the Harry Potter flame. They yeah, look yeah. like what's coach like, yeah. right? I can actually change this one if I want to. I can change it to the flame effect. Hang on, there's a switch right here and all you've gotta do is just push that switch from one side to the other. Now I can't get it with the lights on. I can't get it to come on. There, there we go. There's, there's the white. Wait, I'm trying to get the flame effect. Come on. It's on there, I promise you there's a flame effect on here. 
There it is. There it is. There's that flame effect. Well, we're in, we're in a bright studio. So, so you can see that right there. Yeah. It's, I've got to like use both hands to cover this, but you can see it right there. So you can actually flip it from one to the other. Real, real simple to do. Yeah. The other thing about these, I mentioned this a second ago, you do get the posts, so you can mount it on the post. Now Love the other it. option with this is that the bottom of this, you can attach to any flat surface. So in other words, if it's a wall, if it's gonna be um, you know, the top of a fence, but not all fence posts are created equally. Some of them are bigger than others. This one is only three inches wide. We could use the small base but the base of this actually comes off so you get a big base and a small it's base perfect take a look at them in action yes uh, we've got a little video we want to show you but honestly this is what takes your house and turns it into a home it's light it warms your property up it makes people look and they're like somebody's home even right. when you're not there totally automatic because they are solar so you'll never have to monkey with these once you put them out no there, they just turn themselves on year after year you're gonna get great, great light. And I love the, the, the multiple options. The old days, you'd have to either buy white or you could buy flicker Correct. flame. Correct. I never, I, I had the white in the front yard, but the flicker flame I like in the backyard because it gives you that wonderful ambiance. We're gonna lower and the lights bright. in the studio. Yep. And we're gonna show you how amazing these look. Well, now, th go ahead, Luke. No, I was gonna say, like, you know, it's, so right there you can see it being mounted to a fence post. Notice you do get the two different size bases. So depending on how wide your fence post, or if you want it to overhang a little bit, you've got those options. Totally weather resistant as well. And you do get the stakes too. So I love that effect right there. And by the way, maybe you bought some, like I have a neighbor who's got a fence in his backyard and I've got these all along my fence. He doesn't have any. I'm thinking about being philanthropic and maybe giving him a couple hey, just so that he can have the look too. You're Improving the neighborhood. I'm, I'm, I'm yes. improving my view. But I wanted you to look at how beautiful, and, and I will tell you this, this is, look about, at that. this is about four times the amount of light that are coming out of the ones I have. Yes. These are way more powerful. You're gonna get to see these. Look at how they, my producer Kyle just said, What's amazing, look at how they're lighting up the area. Look at the wall. So this one, what yes. you're seeing down here, this is the, a wall behind them. So I have, remember we used to sell the tiki torch looking flame yeah. lights here? Yeah. Okay, also Bell and Hell. I've got a bunch of those, like eight of them along the back of my house. And not only are they gorgeous to look at, but the effect that they throw up on the wall of the house is absolutely amazing. And you know, it's funny because these look back, in, you know, a couple years ago, the flame effect was just, you know, you were like, oh, okay, it's kind of cute. It looked like a cartoon. These actually look very, very real, very much like a gas lantern. Yes. That's, that's going off here, which yes, would cost you a ton of money. But even the white light, look at that on my hands. It puts out a tremendous amount sure. of light. So, you know, if you want to put these in with your foliage, along your driveway, a path, um, right. or on top of that fence post the, like we're the, talking these about. These could be more like, you know, you're, you're light to be able to escort you into the house. Yes. And then in the backyard and on the deck, you can do the flicker the flame. flame. We launched these lights in April. Right. Okay, I launched them with Lou. Right, we did. And they were $30. You can get them today for less than 23 bucks. That's insane. $7.65 on your credit card gets them delivered. Um, I'm gonna order two sets. I'm gonna, I have four posts out of my deck. Right. I'll put them in and I'll take pictures and I'll show you. What really sells me on these is the amount of light. These are it's literally really bright. 75 to 100% more light than my little lights are doing right now. It's a, it's a larger light oh, than yeah. the one that I have. It's at the very house. big. It is big. I have the one that's kind of like a cone, you know, yeah. like circular. Yep. These I like, these are dressier. Dave, from corner to corner, these are about six inches across. Oh, so yeah. you're getting a nice big light, huge solar panel on top of these. So they're gonna gather a tremendous amount of energy. But even if you just use the flame effect, like what Kelly and I like to do is take a flame effect light, like one of the other lanterns that we have, and set it on a table while we're sitting outside. Because yeah. guys, you know, first of all, I have tiki torches, they don't work in the wind and I never forget I can never remember to buy the oil with these oh, don't the, right they don't care about the wind and they you don't need the oil for these so these are really really nice nothing to wire nothing to wire no batteries no wiring to no hiring nope you literally take them out of the box look outside where do I want to put them do I want to stake them into the ground yeah or do I have a, a fence post where I want to put them we have a lot of people buying two and three sets of these because they've got multiple fence posts extra large solar panel on top which means you're not going to need 10 hours of light correct uh, you're probably going to need more like four to six hours of light. Look at, even with the lights on and then, in the studio. And then they'll, remember, the less light they get on a stormy day, they're still going to light up till three, four in the morning. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. You know, so you're still going to, you're not going to be awake when they finally turn off. But look at how bright that is, even with our studio look lights on. Look at that. I mean, these oh, are. Oh, I'm going to order these. Yeah, these are awesome. Love it. All right. 794-824 is the item number. Thank you, Lou. You're welcome, buddy. Great job. Good seeing you. Hey, by the way, pressure washer is coming up. I know you have a pressure washer, Lou. I do. <laughs> Every, hey, if you want to clean it right, get yourself a pressure washer. The most powerful one I've aired 
is 2,100 PSI from Sunjo. All right, and you can get this one home today at $40 off the price. That'll cover your shipping and handling, that'll cover your tax, and you'll still get a discount. If you get a brand new HSN credit card, you can get this for $79.95. It has all the nozzles, soap cannon, so you can wash the car, easily to attach those little uh, nozzles right on the end, uh, about 60 feet of range with that as well. Super duper cool, that's my pick of this hour. All right, coming up next, now I have never had the I've never had the pleasure of airing this product. Oh my goodness. I've never do done it. And I was just mentioning how I have an issue with squirrels and trying to keep squirrels out, out of different things, right? This is what we call our improvements. We love improvements, our pop-up greenhouses. You're gonna get two of these. This creates two protective environments yep. for virtually any plant. Maybe you're growing some kind of a fruit or vegetable, herbs. And you're like, dang, man, something's eating all my stuff. And you want to protect it that way. You want to protect it from certain pipes of weather, right? You want to keep it all contained. Well, you're going to get two of these. Deb Byers is here to tell us all about it. I am so interested in how this works. Well, this is an amazing opportunity for you to have something that's going to extend your growing season because you know that a, a, a hot house or a pop-up greenhouse or a greenhouse is going to give you a longer growing period. So it's going to give you the opportunity to start your seedlings earlier, harvest all your fruits and vegetables later, protect it from the squirrels, from the possums, for all the little critters that can get at all of your, your plants. Rabbits. At your rabbits, <laughs> yes, the rabbits. Whether you're growing vegetables or not, it'll protect them from the weather because down here in Florida, we get a little bit of frost every January. Oh, yeah. So you're getting a pop-up greenhouse. You're getting two of them and they start just like this. I could only hold one. So we're about 18 inches in diameter. They're rust resistant and they're weather resistant. They stand at about two and a half feet high and they're 18 inches in diameter. And I'm just gonna hold this for a second. I want to show you, you have a zippered closure on the top. Let me put this down. A zippered closure on the top with dual zippers on the top that allow you to control the amount of sunlight and ventilation. So you're off to a great start. They are open at the bottom. So I'm simply going to lift this up to show you. You can simply pop them right over your plant. So if we do have a particularly cold snap, you want to protect your plants, you simply pop it open and place it on top. The other thing is it's going to keep the pests out so you can go ahead and care for your, pe your plants without using pesticides. So this is going to give you all that protection all season and give you that longer growing season. They're just amazing and you're getting two of them today. You know, it's funny, I, here in Florida, I see people, when, when we know there's like cold weather coming, you see all these people going out and buying like big garbage bags, yeah. right? <laughs> yes. And they put them every, and the dang things blow off and it never really works. And, and again, you're, you're almost choking, the, you're asphyxiating the plant anyway. Mm -hmm. But, and they look terrible, no sun gets in, right? So you're not, you're not keeping that temperature up. This is either a quick fix when you need yes. it, for, especially when you're growing younger plants, right? I know my dad, especially, he loved to grow tomatoes. And when tomatoes are smaller, you know, that's, that's, they, either, they either make it or break it, that's right? That's exactly right. And he would get out there and he would actually would cover them with, like I said, those little bags when they were little. Plus, you know what else we had in Connecticut? Woodchucks, all right, woodchucks. And those things would go out, they burrow right under his fence, go into the garden, and they would and they'd eat all the roots, they'd eat everything. Well, we had deer that that, would That's what I was gonna say, the deer. The deer. deer. My father spent two months planting corn. He had like eight plants. And in 30 seconds, one deer jumped his six foot fence and ate every, every <laughs> year of corn. He was out there, I heard him swearing. Why the hell was I growing corn? What was I thinking? Uh, and we actually saw the deer jump over the fence, chewing the corn. This is, this is a way to protect yourself. It absolutely yeah. is. And you're getting two of them. And then once you're done with using them, they fold up just like I have here. They're held in place with three toggles. So you simply undo the toggles because they're on a very, very tight spring. So to get them undone, and again, I've been talking about this all morning. I have new contacts, so I can't see close up. So here we go. Then you, oh, there we go. And then you simply open it up and it will pop 
just like a spring. You so ready? Just a wireframe. Wireframe. Boom. So that is your greenhouse. You see that you've got a little mesh top with a dual zipper on the top. The bottom is open. There are also the loops that use the toggles can also be used for stakes. So you can go to your big box store, your garden store, sure. and get stakes if you're concerned about them blowing over. But they weigh about three pounds. So once they're on a plant, they're going to be pretty secure. But think about all the times that you want to go ahead and protect it. Now, you're talking about all the critters, the possums, the, the squirrels. I had slugs. So slugs came on all slugs. my plants and ate all the foliage. What? Don't you put like, you're supposed to put like a tin, a, a, I think you a, put a pie beer. tin with like some kind of beer or soda or something like that? Yeah. I don't know, maybe they drown themselves. All these tricks, now you don't have to learn any of those things. You've got two pop-up greenhouses that are going to protect them from all the critters that are going to eat your plants and your, and your I, vegetables. I tried to grow cherry tomatoes, not at my last house, but the house before that. I tried to grow cherry tomatoes, right? And so I had like six plants. They were like, two feet tall, they had little baby tomatoes, they were starting to turn color. I was so proud, I went out one morning, all of them, dead, <laughs> all of them. And my neighbor across the street, who was kind of earthy, crunchy, really nice girl, but very, you know, she knew a lot about stuff. And I said, I don't know what happened. Cause she was, she was right next to me on the other side of the fence and she looked and she goes, cat urine. Oh. I said, what? She goes, a cat is attracted to tomatoes like they're attracted to catnip. And I never knew that. She might've been singing a song, I don't know, but she goes, no. And what they do is they mark them. As soon as they, as soon as they smell it, they mark it. And every one of my tomatoes was like wah, wah, wah. They were all like literally on the ground. Freaking cats, man. So I bought a dog. Yeah, he's not. We had cats when I was a kid. Anyway, great idea. Two for one price, $27.71. Yep. Easy to store when you're not using them. Really gonna, you know, you put a lot of work into your garden. You wanna protect it. This is the way to do it. Exclusive here from Improvements. 819-467. Thank you, Deb. My pleasure. That was fun. I know, these are terrific. And remember, when it gets cold, hey. these will protect them from the frost. We'll keep the puppy away from my stuff. I, I was thinking about that too. We'll talk oh, about that later. She is I, digging, I know, I know. She's digging holes in the ground. I know she is. I know. Crapping I'm sorry. All, over the place. all right. <laughs> Uh, 819-467 is the item number. So good to see you, darling. Thank you so much. Kyle, what's next? We go to hsn.com. If you want to view my assortment, all my stuff, I've got live plants. I've got gardening tools. I've got outdoor decor. I've even got that umbrella. You want to see the umbrella? Can I get under there, Kyle? Look at this. This is a smart umbrella because I can put stuff under it. It's not in the middle of a table. It's our cantilever. It's coming up next. Stick around. HSN is bringing you one of our biggest Tucson Gem events ever. Gem lovers rejoice with nine days of sparkle. Discover jewelry treasures from around the globe without leaving your living room, including gemstone jewelry from Colleen Lopez, mine finds from Jay King, rarities by Carol Brody, and more, leading up to an exciting 24-hour event on June 27th. Gem lovers rejoice. The Tucson Gem Series starts Tuesday at midnight only on HSN. Get ready for Brands You Love Weekend with exciting Today Specials from Joy Mangano's Clean Boss and Andrew Lessman. Explore thousands of new arrivals from favorites like Marla Wynn Fashions, Ninja, Mind Finds by J. King, and HP Innovations with even more exciting new brands and deals exclusively on HSN.com. Plus, a can't miss live from the farm broadcast with Beekman 1802 Beauty. Brands You Love Weekend starts Saturday, June 24th, only on HSN and HSN.com. What's all the plus about? It's your favorite QVC and HSN channels and shows. Plus... All about love, baby. What do you do when you are really, really bad? Everybody's streaming. I love you. Joanna Garcia Swisher, 43. Sadina Menzel here. You want to come for a tour of my closet? This is the party! Welcome to Design School. Stream free any place you want. People would say, I wish I could dress like you. You can. Just do it. It just feels like this was meant to be. All right, hey, do you know 150 sets of gloves? That means 450 pairs are going out to you guys. Congratulations, you're gonna love these things. I'm Guy, I'm with you for the rest of the hour. This is Guys in the Garden. We only got one more official show next week. So make sure you all check it out. We'll have a couple of, uh, a couple of sales shows after that, but hey, from last hour, I have a handful left of the rake broom. 
Um, are we gonna put up any uh, B-roll of it? I'd just love to see, can we show some? I have 200 left of the rake broom if you wanna get it up. Remember, not only is it a rake and a push broom that will last you forever, it also comes with the weeding tool that gets in all the cracks and crevices between your pavers. It's a pool skimmer. It wears so many hats, it's adjustable. It could be like three and a half feet, it could be six feet, all right? It gets rocks, debris. Look at, that's what I was talking about, skimmer. Those bristles are gonna last for, it's not like a regular rake where you gotta pull the leaves out every time you use it. It's not cheap. Polycarb handle, virtually indestructible. I own it, I love it, it's still available. I got 200 left. All right, I wanna talk about our uh, umbrella for a moment. First of all, um, I, sold this umbrella when it was full price at $161. I thought it was a great value. This is from Belmont Garden. It's our cantilever nine foot umbrella. It does come with a base. Uh, the base you simply fill with sand. So you put, you know, 50, 60, 70 pounds of sand in it, or you can put rocks in it, whatever is heavy, right? And that's gonna hold it down. The reason we call it this cool cantilever stuff, first of all, look at how flexible it is so it moves with the wind. I love showing everybody that. But what it does is it reaches out, cantilever design over the space that you want to cover. It doesn't go in the center of a table. Don't get me wrong, I like an umbrella table and, a, you know, and all that, but it's just for the table, right? It's got to go through that thing in the middle of the, of the table. This, I've got two giant chairs, two tables. Everything is protected, nine feet across. There's vents in the top to allow it to breathe, okay? And then what's super cool is when I want to take it down, watch how easy it is to take this thing down. You ready? Watch this. Watch, I was gonna do it, it's a little over my head, but here we go, look, there it is. Now it's done, and I can move it aside, so if I want sunshine, I can get sunshine. And then with just two fingers, I'm gonna crank it back up, show you how easy, look at this. Guess what, done. I'm finished, and now I can get out, and I can enjoy, and by the way, I'm six foot three, way over my head. You wanna save $50 off this umbrella? Get a brand new H10 credit card. We'll put $50 in your account, which means you're gonna get this thing home. What's that, $69? Is that what it is? 50 minus 119, $69. And free shipping. Try it out, you got 30 days, you're gonna love it. Let me introduce you to our special guest. I was gonna make this pick of the show, because I think it's great. Oh, by the way, green, blue, tan, red, I kind of like the red. I think that's the one I'm leaning towards. 832043, here's Lorna to tell us all about it. Hey, Lorna, welcome back. Oh, thank you, Guy. Welcome back to my garden here in London, England. Thank you for having me. And we have got an umbrella. We've got a mini heat wave here in London at the moment. An umbrella that's going to help cool you down, protect you, that you can use right out of the box, Guy. So Belmont Garden, they're a third generation business based in San Diego. It gets very hot in San Diego. And they thought, let's bring you the cantilever design, which you mentioned, that goes over your table, over your gathering, not in the middle. Let's give you wind flow technology. You can see there's a breeze here at the moment. It's moving with the wind. It's even got vented pockets on the canopy for the wind to go through. But even better, Guy, straight out of the box, you get a sandbag base. Now, all you have to do is fill this up. 75 pounds of sand or gravel. Top tip, fill it to the brim if you're in a windy area. There's a buckle. There's a hook and loop. And that fits around your base. And there's two grab handles so you can move this around. And this umbrella guy is nine foot in diameter. Standing room underneath is eight foot six. But at the end of the day, when I want to put my umbrella down, it's just a few turns of the handle. That's how easy it is. And then to store it, you open a handle here. You lift up this lever. And I'm, I'm only five foot two. Even I can put this umbrella down <laughs> in seconds. And it doesn't take up hardly any footprint either. Look at this. That is awesome. All right, so... You wanna order one, I know you probably do. It's free shipping and handling. You know, it's so, you know what hot here in Florida right now, the, the, the heat index is over 100. I have the puppy now, the puppy doesn't even wanna be outside, which is crazy. She goes outside, she does her business, and she's running right back in, whereas, but you know, a month ago she was out there. I wanna get one of these and put it on my deck so that I have an area, cause I can actually pen in the deck so the dog can't get out. I'm like, this, this is a big dog pen, but I would never leave her out there without having shade and water. So now I can I yeah. can situate it, Lorna, wherever I want, put a little dog bowl mm -hmm. out there with water, and I can put a chair under there. I mean, I can actually sit out and relax because there's a breeze 
in Florida. It's just the sun mixed with the breeze gives you that terrible heat index. It's going to get hot wherever yeah. you go. Maybe you've got a deck area, a swimming pool, and you're like, we don't need a table umbrella. We need a cantilever yeah. umbrella. We want to protect the space. We want to have a corner of our deck that's not roasting hot. We want to take this out in the yard and be able to get away from the sun, right? And still enjoy having a hamburger with the family and being out in our regular yeah. chairs and not all cramped up around a picnic table that has a center mounted umbrella. I love, Lorna, the fact that this umbrella moves in the wind. Yeah. That's really, because a lot of umbrellas are rigid and that's why they yeah. knock over, that's why they rip, that's why they tear. <laughs> this one yeah. gives, and would you explain everybody, this has vents too, right? Yep, it has vents around the top canopy. I'll show you that in a second. Just to show the old fashioned way, you have the umbrellas that go in the middle of the table, in the middle of your gathering. And the trouble is they're, flex they're not flexible, they're rigid. And if the wind blows, they start doing this. And you've seen people on the beach chasing their umbrellas. So this is the old fashioned way. So Belmont thought, do you know what? We've got a better way. So first of all, cantilever design. And then all you have to do is lift it up. And by the way, when you assemble it, there's full instructions, but there's a little pin that you have to put into two notches on the base and you have to tighten two little screws and then that's it. I mean, it's so easy. And then to put it up in seconds, you can see the canopy at, top, at the top has these little pockets. That's the wind flow technology. That's to stop the wind getting stuck in the umbrella. And you can see here, I'm just turning that handle. I'm putting up a nine foot umbrella in probably five seconds. And then even better, Guy, as you mentioned, if there's a breeze, just like in those luxury spas, those high-end hotels, the umbrella moves with the breeze as well as having the pockets in the canopy at the top. So you've got protection from the sun, you've got shade. You can enjoy your time outside longer. Even better, if you look at the price of bases alone, you'll see why this is such an incredible offer. Because you get the sandbag, you fill it with gravel or sand, top tip, fill it to the brim, 75 pounds, Use your umbrella straight away. I, I, you know, I didn't order it last time, but I think I'm going to order it today, and I'm going to order some of those lights as well, um, because I, I love the, I love the size of it. You know, they, they make them really, really huge. I don't want one that's 12 feet. I like this size, nine yeah. feet, it's perfect. I'm sitting right here, and you can see me in the back. I'm sitting here, and I am protected, because it's coming out to here. So I'm protected from the sun, from the rain, you know, from anything leaves falling down um, and I can adjust that as I see fit I can move that umbrella where I want remember you are getting the bag for the base and all you do with this bag is you uh, you open it up there's a little hook and loop closure you fill it it's right here I'll just hold it up there's a bat there's a, uh, an opening at the bottom where you fill this up you can fill it with beach sand you can buy sand or you can get gravel or rocks or whatever um, I probably would use a small stones and sand you know a little of both and then the yeah. umbrella just goes this goes right over that crisscross base and that's and it just sits right on top and it's black so nobody's ever going to see it if you want one of these I am available in the red which is what I'm going to buy they come in navy they come in green and they come in tan all of them, though, Lorna, will block out the sun, correct? Correct. It's 420 Dernier Oxford cloth as well. Really high quality cloth. And you can see it's getting windy here in London, but it's moving with the wind. The wind is going through those pockets at the top. So it's flexible and you get the base included, that sandbag you just fill up. And then at the end of the day, if you want to put your umbrella down, probably three seconds, guy, and that's nine foot of coverage. Look at I that. I just literally put this down, open your hand or lift it up takes up next to no storage room. And don't get it, it's even got vented pockets here That's around the brilliant. canopy for the wind to go up and through. You know, Lorna, Everything we live here in Florida. We live in Florida, and let me tell you, no matter where you live, you ever have a windstorm pick up like that? Wind's blowing yeah. like crazy and you're panicked? She, yeah. <laughs> she put that, you put that umbrella down in about 10 seconds. That's how yeah. fast you can take yeah. this down. Uh, if you want it, it's 832-043. $39 on your credit card. If you get a brand new H cent credit card, take another $50 off that price. That's $69.95. And ship it to your door for free. You don't have to haul this thing home in your car. All right? Great deal. Thank you, Lorna. Oh, thanks so much, guy. Have a great weekend. You too, my dear. It's wonderful to see you. All right. Um, oh, have you seen those pineapple lights? Oh, come on. Can I walk back there or am I gonna Can I walk back here? Hey, these are metal. I think these are metal. They are. Look at, I think they are. They might be plastic. I can't tell. They look like, they look like wire mesh. Guys, those are pineapples.
Look at how cute they are. And you're getting, how long, how long is it? You get, what's it like? You get one, two, three, four, five. You get a whole bunch of them. We got some in the back here too. Order a couple of sets of these because they're on clearance. You want to hang good luck pineapples outside on your deck, right? Have them for uh, parties. Oh my gosh, summer parties. And you want to you jazz it up? Little glow-in-the-dark nighttime lit pineapples. Oh my gosh, where's that been? I've never heard that before. I'd love to get those. Uh, exclusive, 796. 505 from Garcelle at home. That's why they're so special. All right. Hey, by the way, if you do any summer dining, you got to check out hsn.com. You know I have my show on Tuesdays, right? About 4 p.m. All those tasty deli. Wait till you see what I got this week. Oh, my gosh. I'm just going to say one word. Next uh, tasty show, barbecue spare ribs. That was more than one word, wasn't it? Barbecue spare ribs. Spare rib one word? Or is it a spare rib? I don't know. Anyway, I got those on my show, and you can grab all that stuff right now if you want to check it out uh, at our uh, at our homepage there. Uh, all kinds of great things going on. All right. I'm going to get to my pick. Oh, we're going to talk about the blower. Any left? How many? If you want to get the hedge trimmer and blower set, that's two complete different products. I've got 400 remaining. We marked the price down $40. If you get a brand new HSN credit card, it's $59.95. For a hedge trimmer and a blower, you get both these tools. Look at that. Both of them for 99 bucks. It's a steal. It's a steal. Lily, can I give these to you? Ooh, got them. There's one, two. All right, thank you, darling. Also, while we're on it with Sanjo, this is my pick of the hour. If you don't own a pressure washer, I don't know why you don't. It's one of the greatest tools that has ever been invented for home use. Now you can go and get a you know, 3,500 PSI pressure washer from the home store. You'll spend about five times the price. Maybe you gotta fill it with gas because the only way to get that kind of pressure is with a combustion engine, which will take the paint off the side of your house, which is not what you wanna do. You wanna get the dirt off the side of your house. You wanna get the grime off your sidewalk, the mildew off your pavers. That's what you wanna do. This is the most powerful that I've aired. This is 2,100 PSI. Do you know what your garden hose is? Your garden hose is about 50 to 60 PSI. Put your thumb over it, maybe you double it. 120 PSI. This is 2,100 pounds per square inch of pressure. That's gonna get rid of mold. That's gonna get rid of mildew. That's gonna get rid of debris. Make your driveway look like it's brand new. Sidewalks, pool area, line around the pool. All right, you wanna wash your car, boat, RV. It has the, uh, the uh, foam cannon, which you attach. Love the easy pistol grip, just give it a little squeeze. You have almost 60 feet of reach on this between the hose and the uh, electrical cord, and it's all electric. Easy, turn it on, turn it off. And it does 1.8 gallons per minute. Do you know how much water you're saving by using a pressure washer versus your garden hose? Your garden hose virtually pours water out. This takes water, pressurizes it, so you're getting better use of the water you're using. Bobby Milliken is joining us. I don't have any demos here because it's too hot outside, but Bobby is outdoors. Bobby, I think this is, this is as good as it gets from Sunjo with a pressure washer here at HSN. This is gonna, it's so addictive, you're gonna fall in love with it. Great Father's Day gift if you skipped out on dad. Here's Bobby to tell us about it. Go ahead, bud. Yeah, guys, speaking as, as good as it gets, this is it. This is Sunjo. We are, and we're proud of it, the number one brand of pressure washers in the USA. So there's a reason behind that. We've got a great warranty. We've got a great product. We stand behind it. This is a pressure washer. If you're new to the pressure washer game, the higher the PSI, the better it is. 2,100 PSI. Guys, just like you, this is the highest PSI of any of the pressure washer lineups that I've ever offered. Look at the power coming out. We give you everything you need. All you need is a garden hose, give you the unit, three different nozzles, the gun wand, the hose, and look at this. I'm gonna invite you to come in closer. I'm gonna get right to cleaning. I've got some patio, some brick pavers right here. And again, this is just me going, using nothing but the power of pressurized water. I'm not rubbing, I'm not scrubbing, I'm not even using any soap. How about your wood decking in your back patio? Look how dirty this was. Look how clean it is. And I get that one plank right there. And again, I'm just going right on it. I'll keep it going to this mud on this one. 
Look at that. I mean, once you start seeing how clean you can get things with a pressure washer, it, like guys said, it is very addicting because you're like, oh, I can clean that. How about these over here? I can, I can get that clean. Then you're like, oh, I, I can clean. I can get the garage clean. I can do all that. Nick, I'm going to invite Nico to come in closer. This is a very worn, real fence. This is where I've cleaned before. This is where I have not. Watch this, guys. I can get in here and really take off years of mold and mildew and dirt and debris that easily. And that's a real fence that's been out here for years. That's not something that we uh, dirtied up. I mean, look at the difference between that and that. And, guys, before I throw it back to you, I want to talk about the nozzle. So I'm going to take this nozzle off like that and then on the back we have the nozzles that can go in so all you do is you pop one in pop one off pop one in now i have the red this is a zero degree nico scoot back for me i'm going to shoot up i want to show you how high i can get look at this i can go all the way and clean that's my daughter's room up there wow i can get up to the second with this power or if i've got bees nests wasp nests i can blow those away i want to get under the soffits under the gutter guy you can do all that stuff with the sun joe pressure washer well let me just tell you the first time i ever used it okay was on my on my yeah. deck now i have a um, the the decking material that i my, my house i built i redid my house about 15 years ago when i first moved here and i got this it's steel gray um it's kind of like a it's it's a faux decking material which is better supposedly lasts longer the problem is is the material is porous and i got these little circles of mildew all over it i went out there with the pressure i tried i tried sprays i tried scrubbing and i remember i remember i talked to somebody who knows a lot about the sprays and the scrubbing and they're like it's not going to work bleach is not going to get rid of that it's in the pores the only way you can get rid of it is with a pressure washer it's one of the reasons i bought a pressure washer many many years ago and i've had a couple since Right, I got a lot of good years out of my first pressure washer. My other one, Danny took. I got a Sun Joe. I have the 2000, and I will tell you, when I get out there, literally before my eyes, I watch the deck go from this kind of mottled, looking gray color to like a bright, crisp gray color. It's so easy. I had I have stone pavers that walk out to my outdoor shower. They were turning like a greenish color. They're pavers. They're made of they're made of cement, pressed cement. They're porous. Mold and mildew lives there. I, same thing. Tried to spray them, nothing. Bleach didn't work. Get out there with a the pressure washer. Watch how clean it is. I don't even get me started on washing your car. You know, there's a car wash down here, a, a relatively new one that they built. And before you get in the car wash, you know what they do? They pressure wash your car. Because <laughs> they know they're not, that that's the best way to get the really bad stuff. They pressure wash your rims because there's no car wash out there that's gonna remove brake dust efficiently. So they pressure wash the rims, all right? If you've got any property on your decking, fencing, a swimming pool area, any kind of marble or granite, you know, whatever you've got outside that you wanna clean, I get people that clear out their, their garage <coughs> and they go in and they basically just water broom the entire garage. Now you are getting several tips to put on this. You get a zero, degree a 15 degree and a 40 degree all they do is they pop right on the end of that very very simply you pull the trigger back see it's a little see that, that it goes back pop it on let it go it locks right in that's all you do and the reason we give you those three different tops is because each one is for a different job okay if you need to blow literally blow the paint off something all right or, or blow the mildew off something you use the, the best, you use that tip for that. And you'll see they're all different. One does a more gentle spray, one does a really harsh spray, and one is a laser beam. And Bobby will show you that. Also, if you just buy a pressure washer to wash your car, it'll say it'll pay for itself. This is 129. The car wash street placed on the street, 20 bucks for a decent car wash. That's a month and a half of car washes. And you could do it yourself. Bobby, you put on the old foam cannon, brother. Yeah, man, while you were talking, I was getting busy. I put the foam cannon on. Look at this. I'm lighting up this car. It looks like Christmas over here. It's such good foam coverage. I love this. Of course, I have my Sun Joe uh, soap in here. It's an 18-ounce foam cannon or soap canister. Look at the studs on this. This is crazy. 
I mean, this is the best way to save money on a car wash. Then you just pop that off, right, when you're done with it. We give you all three different nozzles. You pop those on. Then you get to cleaning, and now you can use that power to rinse off and really get a nice detail on your car, because now you don't have to go to the car wash. You don't have to wonder if you've got quarters. You don't have to pay, tw I paid $22 for my last car wash. Now I can get all that stuff clean because I have the power of a pressure washer at my house. I don't have to go rent one. I don't have to borrow a neighbor's. I have, with this value, a great value at my house. I have the confidence in the right tool. And lastly, guys, come in close. Look at the brake dust here. Watch this. This, I didn't even soak this. And I'm gonna get down there and get really, really clean. That's real brake dust, guy. And I didn't even soak that. Are you seeing that come off? That easy, guy. Again, just with the power of 2100 PSI. $43 gets it home. If you get an HSN credit card, that price is going to drop down to $79.95. Listen, I've worked here a lot of years, and I've sold all kinds of pressure washers. Well, I think we started out, we did uh, 15 or 1,600 PSI, then we did up to 1,800, then we went to 2,000. I have not aired a 21. The 2,100 is the most that I think I've ever aired. They don't, I mean, home use pressure washers don't really go a lot more powerful than that because then you're getting into like, you know, you're a contractor, you're, 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 you're actually taking paint or material off a wall with that. You don't want to do that. What you do want to do is you want to remove mold and mildew. You want to get rid of a dirt and grime on your... What about on the side of your house after a long winter, right? And you've just got... To, your house just looks kind of grungy. What if you want to wash your car, your bikes? Look at Bobby's out there cleaning a little kid's bike, little trail bike. How about screens? When's the last time you washed your screens? How else would you do that? Were well, you going to get a sponge? I mean, Bobby, that's the only way I know how to, how to clean a screen. Yeah, that's it. It's because it's gentle enough or it should be powerful enough, whatever it is that you need to clean. Think about your garages. Think about your gutters. Think about Father's Day, 4th of July. You want to get those grills clean? Look at this nice bright blue coming through on the top there where I'm putting the pressure, getting it nice and clean up. It's just that simple. Again, I showed you that fence at the beginning of our presentation. These get really dirty with that green mold and mildew. Look at that green come off that easy again these i didn't even pre-treat or pre-soak think about your lights you can hit your lights all the stuff in your driveway your back patio your front porch your car your decking your patio all these things lastly guy this welcome mat it's supposed to be welcoming it's actually slate blue under there but you wouldn't know unless you use a pressure washer to really get down and in, in there and see the true color of things this is the same thing for our patio furniture. We spend a lot of time outside. We spend a lot of money on those things outside. So why not keep them clean so we can enjoy them and they can hold their value? And the best way that you do that is with a pressure washer. Yeah, and it's the most powerful one that we offer on air, right? I mean, it's 2100 PSI. That's why we call it the max. If you want to get one home, yep. we dropped the price from, I think it's 169 down to 129 It's $40 off. If you get a brand new HSN credit card, I'll take another $50 off, making it $79. I'm just telling you, try it out. You have 30 days. If you're one of those people that says it's too much, uh, not the money, but the, the, I, don't, I don't think I can handle it. Honestly, if you can squeeze gently with your hand, you can use this pressure washer. It's addictive. I'm just going to warn you. You get this for dad or mom, and they love to work outside, they're going to find ways and places to use it. 812-852 is the item number. Bobby, thank you, buddy. Appreciate you Skyping in today. Absolutely. Enjoy, guys. All right, my friend. Hey, if you need a garden nose, legendary Bell & Howell Hydra Steel is available. Uh, they're all on sale today. Uh, they're 59 to 99 today. They're 39 to 79. Do yourself a favor. I own this hose. Get the big one. Either the 100 or the 125 foot. You can always make the hose shorter, but you can't make it longer. So get the longer hose. Just, just a word of advice. Unless you live in an apartment, you don't need it. But hey, by the way, still available. Last call. How many, Kyle? 150? Or, oh, no, you said 400 last time. So now there's 350. OK. Uh, you get two tools. You get the blower. And you get the hedge trimmer, both for $99.95. It's a steal of the day, $40 off. Oh, so we asked a question. Come on over. What's your biggest pet peeve for $25 gift card? Let's see who wins. Linda Solomon.
I won't say her the last name. It's one of those three name names. But Linda, she says, good morning, everyone. My pet peeve is the bugs when I'm trying to sit by the pool and I'm reading a great book. Pretty much everybody has that in common. You're, you're running the money there, Linda. Nobody wants bugs. Get the no more bugs. Trust me on the no more bugs. By the way, if you missed anything in the show and you want to just see what our assortment is, you can always go to uh, Guys in the Garden on hsn.com. Just type it in. I got all kinds of great stuff. We still have plants and stuff available. Uh, a little late in the season, but we got all kinds of... There's that gallon size. I think we sold that out, so we'll get more of that in. Thank you for joining me. I will be back tomorrow, 8 a.m. Eastern Time. Now that's clever. I've got our best value of the day and some other cool stuff. Stay tuned. Here comes Alice. Happy Friday to you. I'm Alice Carone, and thank you for kicking off your weekend with me.